Thank you. Kindly be seated. The Honorable Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Lady Justice Mother Kome, the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice and Vice President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Philomena Mwilu, the Honorable Chief Justices, Deputy Chief Justices, and judges of superior courts from across Africa, distinguished speakers, panelists, discussants, and moderators, eminent delegates and participants, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Chief Justice, I must say that uh, appearing before so many Chief Justices and judges is rather intimidating. <laughs> you know, my lady, in my earlier life, before the people of Kenya decided to bring me to this side of the divide, I was a constant visitor. <laughs> before you, in not very pleasant circumstances. So anytime you invite me, I'm a bit hesitant because appearing before you in different circumstances is rather traumatizing. But we are healing slowly and this continuous appearing before you completes that healing. This was a high level delegation of skilled and experienced judicial officers. The symposium was therefore a platform to share experiences and good practices. Being a discussion on climate change, it was a time to also understand how the judicial system can contribute to countering this phenomena that has posed an existential threat to humanity in Africa and the rest of the world. Allow me to highlight two examples of good practices from Kenya. In the year 2022, the Environment and Land Court planted trees across the country to mark 10 years since establishment. This was a boost to the executive's plan of planting at least 15 billion trees by the year 2032. <laughs> Father, since the COVID-19 experience, the courts accelerated going paperless through digitization of service. Progressively, this will reduce pleasure on trees cut down for paper. 